Okay, so what I was going to do is just show you really quick what this cold run is. Um, just so you know what quest we're on. Uh, it's Nightmare Mode, uh, Heart of Sin, Act 3, Kill Asmodon. So, um, what you do initially is you set, <coughs> you go to the Court of Ariat, and you set your, uh, you come up to right before Asmodon. <coughs> and uh, you just <clears throat> it'll say checkpoint reached and this is where you'll start every run from now on so this is the run I'm just going to show you how it works so so I run with twin chakram um, it allows you anything that gets close to it does extra damage for free of course vault for tumble super fast traveling uh, backup plan preparation makes you so you can just vault and vault and vault as long as you need to um, and I use companion ferret for just a little bit of extra gold fine just adds 10 extra, it's not a big deal, but... Hungry and Arrow for the... Um, does a little more damage to the uh, the treasure goblins when they uh, show up. And Elemental Arrow. Oh, Ball Lightning. I found, you know, there's a couple other spells that work as well, but to be honest, I find um, that this does the best AoE damage, so... Uh, yeah, so just if you look at my gear, um, it's, to be honest, it's just a bunch of gold find gear. The main stats I look for is, of course, is gold find, um, and also radius, so pick up radius. Let's see if I can find that, where's that? So I have like 30, 30 yard pickup radius, and that's pretty huge, you'll see, uh, every, pretty much like a vacuum, I just suck up all the gold when it drops on the ground, because it takes way too much time to go around in little circles and pick everything up, so. And then another really important stat is movement speed. So you see 12% movement speed on the boots, 12% movement speed, or 6% on the bracer, and 6% on the pants. And that pretty much gives you 24%. That's all you need for this. So. Uh, let's see, the only other thing I can think of is passive skills. These are pretty helpful. It's every time you vault, you can run a little bit faster for two seconds, which is helpful for running, killing more creatures. Uh, vengeance. This is actually a really vital ability. Um, it allows you, to, pretty much every pack you get a bunch of health globes that fill your HR up to full and your life up to full every time. So, And a steady aim just increases your damage a little bit, long, a little bit more. So. Alright, I'll just show you the run. Um, I'll shut up and just try to show you how much you can get. So, Alright, enjoy.
got enough discipline. I'm still waiting. So uh, I'll chime in now. Ideally, at this point, probably by level the first uh, area core and uh, the first crater, I usually have five stacks. So I got pretty unlucky this run. But um, even if you get unlucky, it doesn't matter because it's only going to decrease your gold for a little bit. So, so um, the only other thing that's important for this run is you want to pick up all rings and amulets. That's the only rare you want to pick up. So the only items you ever pick up are rares or amulets from the elite packs because they can sell for like, I don't know, depending on what they are, 20,000, 200,000 gold. So anyways, yeah. And since we set the waypoint, our first starting waypoint at right before um, Asmodan, the spider is already killed. So you save a little bit of time, you don't have to worry about clearing her. This is my favorite when you have a bunch of gold, check us out. Boom. I found the chests and uh, these little demonic containers, it's kind of a waste of time. So I, I, I was opening them for a while because they dropped gold, but I don't think it's affected by your gold find anymore, so that's why I just kill creatures, I don't worry about opening crap anymore.
pretty much the only prefix that can kill you is um, reflex damage, so you just gotta watch out for that. Run around a little bit. And this part takes way too much time, I can just skip these fools. Something to remember in runs like this is just go for, um, if there's one or two stragglers, just keep moving forward. It's not worth waiting around and killing everyone. Now I know a lot of people do this type of run, they usually just restart the game now, but I prefer with five stacks of Valor to do one last place as you go to Rackus Crossing because there's a lot of density of creatures and it's one straight line. And it's fun, so <laughs> that's what matters most. I think I got the highest massacre so far here, like something like 250 or something. And to finish it up, I do one big sweeping circle of the Fields of Slaughter, because there's just like three or four elite packs and tons of guys, so... It's like that right there is 2,000 gold from that one pack, so it's like, it's just worth it. And that pretty much finishes the run, so... Not enough 
discipline. So that pretty much does it. Um, on average, one run takes about 15 minutes, um, and I net probably between 100 and 130,000 at my bet. 130,000 is the best if you get really good early elites and stuff. So I, I think it's pretty consistent gold. I'm able to do about 400 to 500,000 an hour, and it's pretty much the only way to break into Act 3 and 4, I think, right now, so in any sort of time. So, anyways, hope you enjoy, and that'll do it.